Hello, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp and today I'd like to play with the jelly plate. I want to show you a trick where you can layer up acrylic paint one layer after another and then pull the whole print off at the same time. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to use processed magenta and I just want to put a tiny bit of the top and a tiny bit of the bottom. And then I'm going to use my brayer to just spread some paint there and get rid of some as well. And then I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to add a little bit there too. Right. Now, and what I want to do is get rid of a load. So I just want an, a little bit. I don't want loads. And the thing about acrylic paint is, of course, it's, you can't see through it. It's opaque. But I'm trying to leave a gap in the middle. Do you see? So every time I pull over the top, I'm just getting rid of a bit more. And then you can hear it. You can almost hear when the brayer starts to take it off. There. So you just lift it round, take off a bit more. You've got to know when to stop, and I think that is probably ample. So this is a bit of a waiting game now. So what we're going to do is just wait a couple of minutes until this is dry. Now it needs to be dry because otherwise the next layer of paint will just m blend in with that and then you'll get a, you'll get a, a mush. So let this blue dry and then we'll start again. About f five minutes, not even, two minutes. Right, I reckon that's dry enough now for the next layer. So let me tell you what I'm going to do with the next layer and then, and then I'll do it. What I'm going to do is put some magenta down. I'm going to use a really beautiful stencil of ours, the Leafy Swirl. And then I'm going to blot it with um, some bubble wrap. So let's have a look. I'm not worried about the blue on the brayer because that's also dry. So let's take, a, let's take some magenta now and let's add a little bit of magenta to the blue. And then we're going to spread this out over the blue and completely cover the whole thing. Right, always get rid of a little bit if you think it's too much. Right, I reckon that's it, that's fine. And then what I'm gonna do is take my stencil and pop my stencil into place. And then I'm gonna take some bubble wrap and I'm gonna just, every here and there, just add a little bit of pattern. And then I'm going to take a piece of copy paper and I'm going to pull some of the colour out with that. See? So we're just going to blot it a bit as well. So we've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that going on. Right, so we've blotted that. And then this, you see, this stencil, this should make a nice pattern. See, the longer you leave it, you'll find it dries quite quickly. I'm using Dale Rowney paint, which is a fast drying System 3. I like it. Then when I lift that away, I've got a pattern in there, you see. Now, and that we need to let dry. Again, before we put the third layer on. Now, while that's drying, let's take a piece of copy paper and let's do something else. We'll just leave that one up there to dry. And we'll take a piece of copy paper and then we'll just tear There, that wasn't too hard, was it? We'll take this one, and now this time I want to leave a... I'm using my finger. There we go. So I think that'll do. That's quite good. But it's not dry yet, so I might get a better tear. I'm just going to tear. You talk among yourselves while I, I tear my paper. See, my different tears, it depends entirely what it is I want to say, doesn't it? I'm 
I'm going to go with the first one, but we still need to let this dry. About two minutes. Two minutes is good. Well, I think that will be dry now, so we're ready to apply the third layer of uh, buff titanium, my favourite. And we just want to add, before we do this though, yeah, it's okay, I've got the paper ready. So we just want to add some buff titanium. I think the secret with acrylic paint is to work out how much you need and how quickly it dries. And my experience is that you always need a little less than you think and it always dries a little faster than you think it's going to. Now, I'm just going to spread this out like so, because this is going to be the background. Hopefully this will be nice. And then I'm going to take my strip of paper and I'm going to add that to my piece as well, there, like so. And then I'm going to take my copy, my, my, my clean print here. This has got nothing on it, it's just a clean piece of paper. And I'm going to line that up with the card that I put the jelly plate on to begin with. That's quite important to, to remember to do that. It really helps later on when you go to pull your print. I mean, that is the thing. What a jelly, what a jelly plate is, in effect, is a printing plate, but without the press. So what we're gonna do now, all right, a bit magic. Hopefully this will work. Right, ready? Okay. And if it doesn't work, it's okay, because I've got one that I did earlier. So we're going to peel this off like so. Look, I love it, love it, love it when it works. Look, see? And then we've got a really nice background with a tear through it. So it looks as if your print has actually got a serious tear going through it. And even the piece that we peel away looks quite nice too. And you know what? It's dry already. I like that. I like that so much. And then what I want to do now, now I've given myself this area to stamp through, I'm just going to take my black archival and I'm going to stamp my word, my favourite word, into the aperture. There we go. Trust. You've got to have a bit of faith. I knew it would work, and I'm very happy with that. So there we are, trust. A three-part acrylic jelly plate trick. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye now.